Jen and DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a full body resistance band workout. So for this workout, we're going to be going through 12 exercises performed for just one set each. Our working time is 80 seconds, so be prepared for that. Our break time is going to be 20 seconds. This workout is not meant to be easy. It is going to be a tough workout. We are shooting to try to fail on every single exercise. So use a good heavy resistance where at some point during the exercise you will need to take a break, but be sure not to give up and get back into it and keep going. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. All right, we've got about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm-up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start to work out now. Our first exercise that we're going to be going into is a bodyweight squat with arm raise. So what we're going to do is get our feet about shoulder width apart. From here, hands out, drop down into a squat, come up, arms come up. There we go. So arms out, dropping down, coming up, back down, nice and easy, weight in the heels, chest out, head up. Lower back nice and straight. Go at your own pace. Next, we're gonna be going in to trunk circles. So, feet a little bit wider. We're gonna drop down on one side, come forward, come up the other side, come back, stretch out the core. There we go. Nice and easy here. We're gonna keep our feet wide for the next one, which is gonna be alternating lateral lunges. There we go, so feet out wide, dropping down to one side, coming up, switching sides. There we go. Nice and easy, chest out, head up. Right, we're going to chest openers right here, so slight bend in the elbows, lock that in. Opening the chest, closing, open, close. There we go. Go at your own pace. Next, you're going into arm swings. So we're going to be swinging our arm forward and backwards. So, backwards, forwards, forwards, backwards. Nice and easy. So, when I come up, I try to really pull my hands back. After this, we're going into toe touches. So, we're going to get our feet a little bit wider. We're going to alternate right hand, left foot, come up, left hand, right foot, or you know as the usual, Jen, she does the opposite. <laughs> it's so it's different being out here. It's different being out here, and I am a lefty, she's a righty, so I feel like it's kind of, kind of the thing. There we go, we got about 20 seconds until we get started with our workout. We're going to be going in to static lunge left side first. So. What we're gonna do here is put the bands under our left foot. We got a nice split stance position going on right here. We're gonna drop down, come up, feet stay in the same spot. Here we go, dropping down, coming up. As you come down, what you can do is choke up on those bands. If you need to make it a little tougher or a little looser, just let them go a little bit, slide through the hands, make it a little easier as needed. If you need to take a break during the workout, drop down, only like a max of three seconds, like one rep, come back up. Keep trying to rep it out. Remember the goal today is to make it through the workout. That's the main thing. Make it through the workout and actually reach failure, momentary failure. There we go, starting to feel a little barren already. 40 seconds in. Yep. Oh, come on. Let's go. Choke up a little bit, make it a little tougher. Let's go. Yep, legs on fire. It's gonna be, it's gonna be jello. I always wondered if it was just me. Pretty sure both of my hamstrings are strained right now, so I just wonder if it's just my hamstrings or everybody's. Come on, last one. Oh, let's go back down. Woo! Had to go back down so I could just stop here. Take a little, take a little break. All right, we're switching sides. Woo! Shake that one out. Switching sides here. 
So, static lunge right side in five seconds. Mm -hmm. All right, coming up and down. There we go. Make sure that if you have a hard floor that you're not slamming that knee down. There we go. The second one's always tough. Let's go. Nice and easy. Push it out. There we go. Come on. Almost halfway. There we go. Halfway. Come on. Keep pushing. Remember, it's okay to take a break. It's not okay to give up. Here we go. How you doing over there, Mama? Uh-huh. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Come on. One more. Woo! Oh, there we go. Good stuff right there. We're going into chest press or push-ups next. So we grab our bands, wrap them around our back and through the armpits. My hamstrings are killing me. Here we go. You want to do push-ups? <laughs> yeah. So bands are coming off our palms right here, holding it with, I like to hold my bands with thumb and index finger, pushing out, bring them together, back in. Here we go. Come on. So our elbows are about 45 degrees away from the body, roughly. It can be a little closer. We just don't want them way up here is the big thing. Here we go. Pushing it out halfway. Really getting to know each other. <laughs> Come on. Feel it. Here we go. Come on. 20 seconds. Keep pushing. If you need to, you can alternate left and right. Come on. Here we go. Oh, one more. Ah, good job. We're going to go into seated rows here. So for seated rows, when you sit down, make sure you take the bands, wrap them fully around your foot. So no matter what happens, the band can knock them off. From here, nice straight back. You turn. Palms stay facing the legs. Coming back. All the way out. There we go. We're just kind of rolling more of what is in a natural feel here. With reverse rows, we kind of try to pull down and back. Here we're doing whatever feels comfortable. If it gets too difficult, try to alternate. Before taking a legitimate break, try to alternate a few times and then get a couple more reps, see if that helps. There we go. There you go. Make adjustments as needed. If it's too heavy and you can't even do any reps, lighten the load. If it's too light, you can just cruise through this thing without any difficulty. Make it heavier real quick. Take that time to make the adjustment. Just try to do it quick. 15 seconds. Come on. My back is on fire. Let's go. I feel like uh, every muscle is going to be on fire today, actually. Come on. There we go. We're going into sumo squats here. So we're just going to take our bands. Yep. Gonna wipe the sweat off. I'm going to drip it down my glasses over here. 
and our feet nice and wide. Hold the bands in the center. Point those toes around 11 and one. Dropping down, coming up. Here we go. Nice and easy. Every rep, I like to try to drop down as far as I can. After a couple reps and I feel more comfortable, what I'll try to do is really push and hold down there. Try to work on that flexibility a little bit. Because Lord knows I need more flexibility. <laughs> Here we go. Keep pushing, come on. Don't give up. If you need to, you can always reduce a band. Just let go if you have multiples. Still too tough. Just do body weight, drop down. Try to do body weight. 20 seconds, let's go. Here we go, good controlled movements. Keep that chest out, head up, back nice and straight. One more. There we go. All right, we're gonna drop back down. Seated reverse grip rows. So, wrapping the band again. This time our palms are gonna be facing up. And our elbows are gonna be tucked into the body. So, right here, palms up. We're gonna pull back and kind of down. So what I like to do is just have my knuckles drab, uh, drag the outside of my thighs. So from the knees, up the thighs, to the hips. So from the side, here we go. It's down here, elbows tucked in. Here we go. Traditional row is gonna be kind of more here or here. That way we can feel it right here in the lat. How's it going over there? I know. Too much pre-workout. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, there we go. Right when you say it, nice little breeze comes along. That's what I need. It's a warm day here in St. George, Utah. You've been great. Thank you. Especially this little park. Come on. Woo! It's on the fire. Let's go. Come on. Keep pushing. We're getting another. Ah, there we go. All right, we're going to stand up. We got shrugs coming up. So what I like to do for my shrugs is stand with my feet nice and wide to eat up a bunch of that band because there's not a huge range of motion for these. So, right here, get my feet out nice and wide, and then stand up nice and straight, bring the shoulders up to the ears, come back down. There we go. If you want to make it a little tougher, just spread those feet out, eat up even more of the band. Oh yeah, pretty sure I just doubled the resistance right there. Ah, come on. Uh-huh, let's go. Keep that head up. Make sure that when you come up, you're not straining your head or neck and pulling it down like that. Oh, come on. 40 seconds, let's go. Come on. Oh. Gotta take a little quick break here. There we go. Traps are on fire. Keep pushing. Come on. Got 10 seconds, let's go. You can do anything for 10 seconds or 10 seconds longer. Let's go, one more. Hold it. Oh, there we go. Woo, good stuff right there. All right, we got RDLs coming up here. So what we're gonna do with RDLs, we're gonna take our bands, 
step on them. I keep my feet about six inches apart from here, slight bend in the knees. Then we hinge at the hips, sinking the butt back, hands stay close to the leg right here, choke up on those bands, come back up using the hamstrings. Back stay straight. So as we come down, kind of look out away from you, it's gonna help that back stay straight because if I look down, my back wants to bend. One way to keep your back nice and straight is look up. It's gonna want to straighten up no matter what. Here we go, feel it in those hamstrings. So you should be feeling this in the back of your legs, probably right up under your glutes or your butt. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. There we go. Come on. Uh -huh. Ten seconds, let's go. We're gonna get another. Ah, good stuff right there. Oh, we got bicep curls right. coming up. Jen's favorite. Okay. Oh, I thought I thought chest was your favorite. Uh. All right, so we're gonna stand on the bands. Palms facing out. Here we go. Coming up, back down. Up, back down. Make sure with these that your elbows are staying by the side. When you come down, we don't want our elbows to kick back. As we come up, we don't wanna kind of force it up with a little shoulder press thing going on. Just wanna focus on those biceps. Keep the elbows pinned to the side. Here we go. Come on. I don't think I've ever seen so many wrong variations of a bicep curl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's the best. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. Keep pushing. We still got 30 seconds left. If you need to, you can alternate. Keep going, 15 seconds, come on. Embrace the burn. We got one more in us. Ah. Biceps are smoked. All right, we got overhead tricep extension here. So what we're gonna do for these, drop one handle. I keep the long one to my foot that is not on the band. From here, I step through, put my thumb in the handle, bring it up and over. So from here, I'm up and down. Up and down. If you feel the band kind of rubbing your back or butt, all you can do is step away. That'll prevent that. Just make sure to keep that heel on the ground for the uh, foot that has the band under it. Good controlled movements. If you need to take a break, drop down, take a break real quick. Get back into it. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. I'm just going to sit here for a second. Take a little quick break. Let's go. Come on. Push it. 10 seconds, we can do anything for 10. Oh. Woo. Oh, I just want to let that thing go. All right, we're going to lay down here on our backs. We got reverse crunches coming up. 
So what we're gonna do is if you want, you can kind of put your uh, hands up under your butt. Make sure to keep your head up off the ground, feet out. And then we're gonna bring the knees up. When we come up, squeeze the core, try to get those hips off the ground. There we go. Good controlled movements though. Nice and slow. Come up, exhale, lift the hips. Using the core to lift the hips, not the hands. Because if you have your hands down, it's easy to come up and jam your hands into the ground. Use those triceps. We don't want to do that. Here we go. If it gets too tough, just drop your feet right here. Come up. Drop the feet. Come up. There we go. Come on, 40 seconds. Have you taken a break yet? No. Are you planning on taking a break? No. No? That's what I like to hear. Let's go. My eyes closed because of the Uh-huh. Let's go. Keep pushing. Embrace the burn. Here we go. Come on. 10 seconds. We got this all day. I can live right here. <laughs> Call me Goggins. Thank <laughs> <laughs> God we're done though. Just with that exercise. We got one more. We got shoulder presses. I mean, I could probably do those for a couple of minutes. Not all day, I'm going to be honest. All right, so I'm going to do my shoulder presses on the knee. What I do, take the bands or band, put it up under that knee that is down. Palms out, pushing up, come down. Make sure that your elbows right here are in front of the shoulders. We don't want them way back here. We want them right here. Driving up, coming down. Up, coming down. There we go. Come on. Uh huh. Hey, you know my saying too. There's one reason why you just gotta keep pushing with the shoulders. Sexy shoulder? I mean, no, that's not my saying. <laughs> my saying is one way to make your waist look a little skinnier is just to get your shoulders a little bit wider. Okay. Come on. If you need to, you can always alternate left oh, yeah. and right. Oh, come on. Woo! Shoulders. Do I have those anymore? I'm pretty sure they left me about 20 seconds ago. Remember when you said I should grab handles? Yep. And I said no? Yep. Yeah, ah. believe it. Oh. Just want you guys to know we are actually finished, but uh, second thing is I'm gonna have to take a clip of that recording where she just said, I was right for something. I don't think that has ever worked Darn or ever happened. No, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Good workout there. <laughs> All right. Great workout today, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. See you guys.